Right now we are in Everglades National Park. I chose it because I've long had this fascination with the Everglades, but never wound my way in this direction before. So when my friend and I were looking at where we wanted to go, she was pretty clear it needed to be someplace warm. Then I started looking in Florida to see if there was um, something in the Everglades. We did a small hike at the Anhinga Trail, uh, discovering the birds of the area, uh, nesting grounds for the Anhinga. And we also spot a little bit over 40 alligators, it's just one spot, and it was an amazing experience. My experience in the Everglades with this group was this whole, well first of all, this whole understanding of the historical nature of this land and where it came from, where it was before we humans got our hands on it. And it was fascinating to learn about the animals that have survived in it despite what we've done to it. As a kid, when I read about it, I thought, by the time I get there, it won't be worth going to. But it's been, I haven't been a kid for a long, long time, and it is worth going to because there's still this incredible flora and fauna there. We are right now on Pigeon Key in the Florida Keys on this wonderful trip that's going to the Everglades and the Keys. Pigeon Key is a small island underneath of the Seven Mile Bridge that connects Marathon to the rest of the lower Keys in the Florida Peninsula. I had been to the Keys but it was, let's see, my kids were like 12 and now they're 38 so it was quite a number of years ago. It's warm and I live in New York where it isn't warm. It was just a nice time of year to come down here and Road Scholar always does a great job running these tours so we figured that we might as well go for it. It's cold up north and it's a beautiful place to be. We are at Fort Jefferson at the Dry Tortugas National Park about 70 miles west of Key West and um, we are here spending the day. Uh, we, we came in a large vessel uh, to learn about the history and, um, and starting a route that we will continue tomorrow in Key West of the history of the Civil War era in the Gulf of Mexico uh, in the Florida Keys. This is one of the most highlighted uh, part of the program that everybody enjoy. I like to travel with Road Scholar because of a number of reasons. Uh, one is that I have found the leaders to be very enthusiastic and informed about their subject. They, you just can't help but get caught up in what they're talking about. And they also seem to me to be learners. And I don't believe that you can be a good teacher unless you are also a learner. Road Scholar participants are special because I never stop learning from them as in this beautiful journey in every program that we begin and until the end. One of the things that I love from uh, Road Scholar participants is the, their passion about the places that they have been with the organization. It's just encouraged me to do more research and be more prepared day by day before they arrive. I'm looking forward every time to the first day that I meet them. I'm looking forward to the second day to see how many names I record. And it's it really uh, uh, encouraged me so much in, in a personal and professional uh, way that um, uh, that's one of the reasons why I keep loving my job day by day. Um, that's why I always keep the Rose Scholar name very close to my heart. <laughs>